Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, um, I guess it's gonna be like a shop my stash. Yeah, basically a shop my stash video. Um, if you've never seen one of my videos like this before, they're pretty long because I show you what I had in my last shop my stash and usually I keep them like seasonally so it's a lot of product like I don't rotate it weekly or monthly even so yeah grab a snack if you're watching this one like after the last one I did it's probably going to be uh, quite redundant because I'm going to go over those products again so yeah but anyway, um, there's a little bit of a twist because I got this app called Tiny Decisions. It's like um, a wheel, like spin a wheel to decide something kind of thing. So what I did is I put like all my makeup um, in categories and I'm going to spin the wheel to see what I should add to my next shop my stash. So this is pretty different for me because um, usually I do like seasonal makeup. Like for fall, I would start bringing in like anything like pumpkin spice or, you know, like warm things and like fall colors. But I think this will help me like come out of my shell a bit when it comes to makeup and try different things and I do need to start using the makeup that I have so hopefully this will help me with that and to discover some new things from my own collection so enough rambling let's get started so I have my whole box out here but uh, I didn't want it to mess with the focus so I'm just gonna pull the products one by one um, so the first thing that I have, please focus, yes, this is the NYX Lid Lingerie <laughs> um, Shadow Palette. So it looks like this. I mean, you could see it with this closed anyway, but here's a better visual. So I think I didn't even use this in this round. But I have used it before, um, so I don't really have much thoughts on it. I do like these shades. This is an all matte palette, I believe, yeah. And I do think it looks nice for fall, so I think I'm going to keep this in another rotation. So what I'll do is, like, things I haven't used, I usually keep them in to make sure that I do actually use them. Things that I have used, I'll like switch out and then I'll use the app to bring in something new. So this this one is a keeper. Then I have this mini Viseart Pitsy Pro palette. This is the first one, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the number one. It looks like this. I dug my nail into that shade by accident. <laughs> this is another palette that I think I should keep in because I barely used it um yeah it's a problem sorry if you can hear all those noises in the background I have the window open but anyway um I'm, I think I'm gonna keep this one too because <laughs> it's look it's so fall and night then I have this treasure the master palette by Mario well it's ABH you know, Mario collab. This is one of the oldest palettes in my collection, actually, because it came out like around the time where I started being obsessed with makeup. So I picked this one up. I did use it, but not <laughs> recently. I think this is gonna be the same story for a lot of this, because also, this whole box of makeup I brought from my condo, so I haven't used this makeup in a while because right now I'm not living there. But um, yeah, it's probably going to be very repetitive. But don't you like think this would be really nice for fall too? <laughs> oh god, I think I'll have to keep it in. Oh, and by the way, like with the app. I did put everything I own in this house in the app, so even if I'm saying like, 
I'm gonna put it back or I'm gonna keep it like whatever I'm also gonna be using the app to decide like my makeup looks so I will be like bringing some of this stuff back in anyway then I had this and I think this I can put back in my collection this is the NARS narcissist wanted one and this is a highlight and blush palette well I think it's meant it's marketed as a blush palette but this shade here is could be used as a highlighter I think at least on my skin tone um, I didn't use this often but to me this is more like a spring summer thing so this one I'm gonna put back with my other makeup next I have this this is a concealer palette and I got it in a boxy charm a long time ago, like, like in my first or second boxy charm ever, <laughs> and I have yet to use it because it has all these shades. But when am I ever gonna need all these? But I did want to try it. Like I'm not, I don't really want to part with it just yet because I do want to try just to see what it's about. I don't have any other concealers in like pot kind of style pans so I would like to try it and I think I can use some of these shades like this one here as a contour shade so I kind of want to try this for like a cream look. Um, I don't think it needs to be in my shop my stash because yeah but whenever it comes up randomly uh, when I use the app to decide then yeah it's good to have I guess I don't know I don't know how to feel about this <laughs> I feel like maybe if you were a makeup artist this would be more useful because you have like all the colors you could possibly need for different clients but I don't think makeup artists like carry this kind of thing around either I don't know. I might declutter this at some point if I feel like I'm never going to use it. Then I have the Domini Cosmetics Latte Palette. Should I zoom out? Some of these things are like too big for the frame. So is that in focus? Yeah. Domini Cosmetics Latte Palette. It looks like this. This is another one I usually bring in around this time of year because um, it has like a shade called pumpkin spice and it's all obviously coffee related shades um, And that feels like very fall and like cozy to me and I haven't really used this much at all <laughs> Why am I like this? Um, I think I should keep this one in because it, look, it looks brand new like come on I need to use it so, yeah, I'll keep this one too. Then I had this Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Volume 3. It looks like this. It's very neutral and similar, I feel. I think my mom gave this to me. She got it in a boxy charm, I believe. I don't think I need this in my shop, my stash. I did use it, I think, once or twice. But it's just not very um, super fall to me. It's not calling to me right now. So I'll put that one back as well. And this is just more summery, I think, this whole vibe. The Sugar Pill Mini Color Palette, is that what it's called? The Fun Size Palette, so cute. This I've never used. <laughs> And I know I, I'm pretty sure I said when I made this shop my stash that oh my god It's so spring and summer. I'm gonna use it. Yeah, I didn't I think it's very intimidating to me Because I usually do my makeup in the same way, which is another reason why I want to switch up my routine kind of thing because I always go in for like the matte cream shade then like the mid-tone crease shade and this palette doesn't have those kind of things like it's all pastels and colors so I think like I didn't really reach for it for that reason I do really like these shades and I 
want to use it, but I just didn't. So I think I'll put that one back in my collection because it's not screaming fall winter vibes, obviously. But it's, look how cute this cat is. Then I had this little Z palette that I got in a boxy charm, and two of the shades in here were sent in the same box. Can I open this? Um, so which ones were they? Yeah, so these two are Makeup Geek eyeshadows, but the old formula. Um, I think this one is called Prom Night. Yeah, Makeup Geek Prom Night. And this one is Cherry Cola, I want to say. Yeah, Cherry Cola. These are, were like very popular shades from Makeup Geek. And then I bought these two. They, these are the Tarte um, Metallic Single Shadows. I don't remember the name exactly. But I bought these because they were on sale at one point. I, th I don't remember what they're called. And there's no name on the back. <laughs> so that sucks. But yeah, this one is like a purple it's probably called like amethyst or something and this one is like a taupey silver uh i think i'm gonna keep this in because i never use these and i was hoping that one day i would like build it up to have a full palette um but i just don't i don't know i don't usually buy single shadows because i buy a lot of palette so I don't feel like I need singles but yeah I do want to get some use out of these and I think like these even go together pretty nicely for like a nice grungy fall look so I'm gonna keep this one for now then I had this Milani soft and sultry palette this is the one I mentioned in my most recent video that I think I could do the new Natasha Denona glam palette with obviously not in the formula but at least in the color story uh, I just feel it's the same kind of vibe and I'm trying to like talk myself out of buying the new Natasha Denona one <laughs> so um, yeah I think I'm gonna keep this in because I think I only used it one time in this rotation and that's just not acceptable so I'm going to keep this one in too. Then I have this Glam Metals palette from Crown. This was something I got in a BoxyCharm as well. Um, I've never used this palette. And I think it's because these are all shimmer shades except this shade Black Metal it's not even really a matte, but it's like a satin, but the rest are shimmers, and I don't, I don't know. I was actually thinking of passing this one along because I just never reach for it. But at the same time, I kind of want to try the formula. <laughs> oh dear, I can't keep everything. I think I'm going to keep this one, just because this is another fall color story to me. Then I had these mini Smashbox palette things. This was a holiday collection like two or three years ago. <laughs> um, so this one is the eyeshadow palette. It looks like this. I actually really like these tones. This looks a lot like the Viseyard one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's like identical. Um, obviously there's more shades in the Viseart one. So do I even need this palette? I never use it. I think I sometimes brought it with me when I traveled, but I usually don't wear eyeshadow when I'm on vacation. So I feel like maybe I can pass this one along. Yeah, I think I would. Because even if I kept this to like use in a video or something, you can't get this anymore. So what would be the point of sharing that information even if I 
ended up really liking it. So yeah, I think I'm going to pass this one on. Um, then there was the lip palette, which this is the Be Legendary lipstick formula, which is supposedly very good. I have used, I think I've only ever used this shade here. Is there names? Yeah, that's the shade Pretty Social. Um, I never use lip palettes. And I knew when I bought this, I was probably not going to get a lot of use out of it because of that. But I bought it anyway, because they came, the three of them came in the same box. These are really nice shades though. I think I want to keep this one and I'm going to put it in my lip product wheel so that um, it could be an option to use. But. I don't think it needs to be in my Shop My Stash box. And then the last one is the Contour palette. I did put this one in my options already. I think, where did I put this one in? Probably in the bronzer category. But obviously this is like the highlighter shade, this is the bronzer shade, and this is the contour shade. But this is actually a mini of their... Um, contour palette which is a really good formula so I think um, I'm gonna I'm not going to pass this one on but I will keep it in my in my box but yeah I think this one is good to travel with because you have three products in one little package kind of thing so yeah the eyeshadow is just too similar to this one for me to keep like when I don't even use this one either <laughs> so yeah um this is one of my favorite products ever it's the mac nutcracker sweet peach face compact so this has like my favorite highlighter one of my favorites in my collection this highlighter here the shade tutu and this blush is really nice too it's called at dusk i feel like i used this enough though for it like it can go back in my collection yeah because I are, I know how I feel about this. Now we're getting to some other bigger eyeshadow palettes. This is the Huda Beauty New Nude palette. It looks like this. It looks very pretty. Um, I have used this. I think I have like a whole video with this palette that I can link below. Um, I believe it's like a Valentine's Day look probably because that's what this palette screams to me. It came with this little nice thing too. Um, but I'm gonna put this one back because I don't know. I just, I don't, I don't need it right now. <laughs> then I have this uh, Urban Decay Kristen Lian collab, which is this like scary, kind of um layout that no one likes because it's like asymmetrical and chaotic but these shades are some of the best like well the formula is like the, some of the best that urban decay has made so i'm gonna keep this but i don't feel like i need it in this shop my stash even though I mean, I haven't really used it much though. Oh God. No, I think, you know what? I should keep this one in because I just haven't used it enough. And it's one of the older palettes in my collection. I bought this when it was on sale because I don't like, I'm not even subscribed to Kristen Leanne. So it wasn't something I was like needing, you know, when it first came out. So. Yeah, but I will keep that one. I just want to get some more use out of it. Um, then I have this Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. It looks like this. Very pretty. Um, I haven't used this enough. And actually, sometimes I forget about it because it's the only, I think it's the only highlighter palette that I own. I'm pretty sure. So it's, and it's always like with my eyeshadow palettes, so I forget about it, but I really need to use this more. And this actually came back in stock, which was like kind of weird because 
no one like not even Nicole Guerrero like said it was coming back and then all of a sudden it was on Sephora again so I I actually think you can still get this so maybe I should keep it just in case like people want to know how it works yeah I'm gonna keep this one in my shop my stash this one I thought I was gonna keep also it's the well, you can't even see <laughs> the Too Faced Best Year Ever 2018. So yeah, it's pretty old. But this was one of the better Too Faced holiday collections. It came with the agenda that like you could actually use. And in the agenda there was like really cute pages with like all the different looks you could do with this palette. So I really liked that idea. This is what it looks like. I feel like if you have one Too Faced holiday collection, you don't need any other ones because they always look like this. Um, even the new one for 2020, I just saw it today. Um, on, it's already available on Sephora. It has the same shades. They're just in different packaging. Um, but actually this formula is pretty good because it's very pigmented. Um, but I just haven't used it enough and I like that at the bottom here you have the bronzer in Chocolate Soleil which is one of their like most popular products. Um, this is like a very Christmassy palette because of the names like Deck the Malls, Sleigh Bells, you know. So um, do I want to keep this one? I don't think I'll keep it in right now, but I probably will break this out when it's more in like late November, December, because I do like the colors in this palette and I want to use it before it like becomes way too old, you know? So that was it for like the eyeshadows and palette type things. The rest is like singles, so I do have two, three single shadows, yes. So one of them I actually decided I'm going to pass on. It's the, it's a Makeup Forever shadow. I don't know what it's called because this is not the original packaging. My cousin passed this on to me and she told me like these were discontinued because she works at Makeup Forever. So. She said they were discontinued and she didn't know uh, what the original one was, but she just like passed it on to me to try. But I actually have many shades in my collection that are this kind of like, what do you call this? Not a turquoise. I can't even open this. Oh, like an ocean blue kind of shade. I have many times over in palettes and also I have an Urban Decay single that is like identical so and because I don't even know what this shade is called it's not very useful to use on camera so I think I'm going to pass this one on too I do think it's a really nice shade though and this is the old Makeup Forever eyeshadow formula which people really liked but they have since um, revamped their singles so this is like not that doesn't even exist anymore so yeah that one I will pass along then I have this Colourpop Super Shock shadow this is the only Super Shock shadow that I own aside from the one that's in the Sailor Moon palette this is the only like single this is the shade Ladybird it just looks so pretty it's very shiny and metallic. I have not used this once. <laughs> I think I've only swatched it. So I think I'm going to keep this in because it works like a good um, inner corner highlight. Um, and I just want to use it. Or even just as an eye topper when I want like an extra shimmer on the lid I can use this one. I got this at Ulta in the States because we can't buy Colourpop in Canada unless you order it online. But yeah, um, I'm gonna keep that one in. 
And then my last single shadow is this Tarte Chrome Paint in the shade Steal the Show. So it's like this gunmetal um, silver kind of shade. I think I can put this one back. I have used this before. Um, yeah, I like these chrome paints. They're very easy to work with. I just, I don't feel like I need it for right now. Um, I have these two minis. This is the Becca um, Shimmering Skin Perfector. Is that what they're called? Yeah, Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Opal. This is like my travel highlighter because I always bring it with me when I go on vacation. Um, for one, because it's small but also because I feel like this shade works better on me when I have a bit of a tan because it can lean more um, like darker gold kind of shade. Um, so I'm going to put this one back in my collection, uh, but it has gotten a lot of use over the years. And then I have my Fenty Beauty Shady Biz Mini. I use this all the time when I just want like a quick um, bronzer because I know like it doesn't apply too heavily and it blends out really nice so I don't have to worry about like making mistakes but I think because I have used it so much that I can put it back and get some use out of something else but I do really like this shade and this formula then I had this butter blush from Physicians Formula this is a really light one it's the natural glow shade so it's like barely a blush it's like a highlighter blush really um i think i can put this one back this is very summer to me you like just the scent i can smell from here it's just something i gravitate more towards in the warmer months so i'm going to put that one back and I think this Laura Geller one also because this is the shade Tropic Hues. This is again very summer to me. Like a shimmery coral kind of shade. I got this in a boxy charm and I was really excited because we don't have Laura Geller in Canada and I always wanted to try it. So yeah, I do like this, but I'm just going to put it away for now. This is actually in the lip category, but because it's like this packaging, I'm just going to show it to you now. It's the Urban Decay Lo-Fi Lip Mousse in the shade Echo. I really like the shade of this. I actually really like these things. I have another one that's more like a bright orangey red. Um, this one is like can be used year round. I feel like no one talked about these when they first came out because everyone was still using like liquid lipsticks or lip glosses. But I really kind of like this. Um, it feels like um like powder. Not not that it feels powdery, but you know that kind of feel. I think Mac came out with like powder kiss lipsticks that I feel like are the same kind of formula probably, but this is in a pot. You do have this little tool. Um, I never use this because I just pat it on with my finger. And if you have like a lip balm on and then you put this over it, it looks really nice and natural. I guess I will keep this one in because I like this shade for this time of year. This is something I thought about decluttering like since I received it. <laughs> I got it in a boxy charm. It's the Cover FX Glitter Drops in the shade Nova. Um, but then when I swatch it, I'm like, oh, but it's so nice. But I just don't know, like, I would not use this as a highlighter because it's way too bronzy gold. But I thought about using it as an eye topper, but then I was like, but should I put glitter drops on my eyelid? I'm gonna have to look into this, like what the official description and like use of this product is supposed to be, and then I'll decide. But otherwise, I might declutter this soon. So I'm gonna put it back in my collection and check up on how to use this but I don't think I need it 
in my fall winter basket you know this blush is something I wanted to get more use out of. It's the VDL Creamy Stick Jelly. So it's a stick blush like this. I think I used it when I first received it. I got it from Influenced Her. Um, but since then, I haven't really used it much at all. But then I feel like these kind of stick blushes are coming back in. Well, not that they were ever not in, but they're coming in and when I received this like stick blushes weren't being talked about a lot yet um, but this shade is not something I would really gravitate towards right now so I'm put it I'll put it back in my collection but yeah I'm not going to get rid of this and another blush I have is the Kaja Bento I never remember the name of these this thing you know <laughs> the one that has like the stamp on the top and then you put it in the product which is a cushion um, I really like this shade actually it's very neutral the thing about these is I worry that they'll dry out before I get to use them enough so I think I'm going to keep this in my shot my stash as well I have this pretty vulgar the Ink Blacklist Gel Eyeliner. <laughs> I've never used this. It looks really cute. It's like a little fountain pen kind of thing. As you can see, it's completely untouched. I never use gel liner. I don't even use liquid liner and barely pencil liner. <laughs> but I would like to try and like practice. I'm gonna put this back in my collection because it's just taking up room in my shop, my stash. I know it's not something I'm going to use every time I do my makeup anyway, so I'll put that one away. Uh, and I did also get this in a boxy charm. I have this Anastasia and Amrezy highlighter. Um, I actually forgot about this to be honest, and I don't know why. It's very pretty. It looks like I've never used it, but I have. Maybe, can you see? No, you still, you can't tell. <laughs> because when I do use this, I try and put my brush like right here so that I don't mess up the design. Um, I feel like, not that this is overrated, but it's more like a personal preference. This is not my favorite formula. It's very like hard pressed. And I don't know, I, I'm not sure how I feel about it, to be honest. So I'm going to put it back in my collection, but there's always a chance that I'll pull it in a, um, when I use the app to decide what highlighter I should use. Oh, I had one primer from Physicians Formula, the Spotlight Primer. This is supposed to be like a dupe for the Becca, I don't remember the name of that product, but I think you can, if you know what it is, you would know because it's almost like the packaging is similar as well. Um, so this is one of those like, one of those kind of primers that's very metallic. I'm actually interested to see if this is similar to the new Rare Beauty primer that I just bought the mini of. Um, that would be interesting to know how similar they are. It feels very like nice and creamy. I don't know. I think I liked this when I did use it, but this is more like a summer product to me. I don't really want to look that glowy and shimmery in the warmer month, in the colder month, sorry. So I'll put that one back in my collection. And now the rest is, um, no, it's not. I was gonna say the rest is lip products, but I have some eye products as well. These two Touch and Soul um, Metalist Liquid Foil and Glitter Shadow Duos. Oh my God, these, every time I do a shot my stash, I'm like, you need to use these because they're getting dry. <sighs> and then I still don't use them. <laughs> I really should though. Cause I'm always looking at like the new ones. 
like the Natasha Denona ones, but those are more like duo chromes. These are just like glitters and metallic shades. I am gonna keep them in my shop my stash. I need to use them. Like look at this one. It looks like oh it looks like it's getting so dry and it gives me anxiety. <laughs> I would hate to like pay money for something and then I can't even use it after because it's gone bad. That would drive me nuts. So I will keep these in for now. Oh and I do have one of these Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows in the shade Kitten Karma. This is a mini. Um, I don't think it's dried out because it's a mini. It's like quite compact. Oh no, maybe it has. It's, it's really pretty. It's quite dry though. I think I'll keep this in and if I use it and it's like not um, working out, then I'll just get rid of it. I think this was like a free promo uh, from Sephora, like a promo code kind of thing. I also had another mini. This is the Laura Mercier Amethyst Caviar Stick Eye Color. So it's one of these. These are like really popular, or at least Sephora keeps pushing them. They're always like in the sample rewards things or they always come back in like the Sephora favorite sets. I don't really use stick shadows. I don't know. I would like to. This color looks really nice. It's like a taupey, mauve shade. That's really pretty actually. I think I'm going to keep this in and it doesn't take up too much room so that's good too. And the last like non-lip thing is this mini nude sticks nudies all over face color um this is the shade illuminati illuminati yes like illuminati i've never used this <laughs> it's a stick highlighter let me swatch it i have heard really good things about these. Oh, it's kind of like a pink shift, which I wasn't expecting. But I actually have another stick highlighter that I want to try, so I'm going to put this one away. I think I got this in a Sephora Favorites set of like glowy products. Okay, now we're on to the lip um, products. <laughs> oh god, this is going to be so long. I'll try to not say as much about them, maybe if you just want to see what they were. Um, so the first one is a mini bite. This is the prismatic multi-stick, so it's like the shimmery one. It's in the shade Pink Pearl. I don't know if I need this, to be honest. Like, am I gonna wear this on my lips? It's so frosty. No. You know what? I'm going to pass this on. I just feel like I'm never going to use it because I'm not going to use it as a highlighter. I already have other kind of pink shift highlighters like I just showed you one of them. Um, and I won't use this as a lip color so I'm going to pass that on. I have another bite product. This is one of those like stick things. The shade is Cognac. Ooh, this is very fall. Very nice. I'm going to keep this one in. It's like a deep plum kind of shade, it seems. And I had this Revlon Kiss Plumping Lip Cream. I actually really like this. I got it a while ago when Walmart came out with beauty boxes. Like, they're kind of like Sephora favorites, but Walmart version. And I really like this. And it, I don't remember it being plumping in the sense of like the Too Faced like lip injection or like the buxom like tingly things. It just is more like plumping and like it makes your lips look fuller kind of thing. And I really like the shade of that. Um, I think I could put it away because I did use it a few times already. Then I had this mini Dior Lip Maximizer Collagen something or other. Um, I really like this too. Just as like a lip balm. Um, 
but I think I could put it away. I did use quite a bit of it. I have a mini Anastasia um, matte lipstick in the shade Kiss. It's like a nice neutral nude. I think I could put it away. I'm pretty sure I used it. I have a Charlotte Tilbury. Um, I don't know what these are called. These are like her regular lipsticks. This is the shade Bond Girl. Oh, it does look like a nice fall shade. I'm not sure. Maybe I didn't really like this though. It's very sheer and almost like a purpley. I'm gonna keep it in and if I don't like the shade on me, I'm going to pass this one on. Oh, this one I really liked. The L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Praline de Paris. It's like a nice pink, but like in a good way. I talked about this in my last video. Like any light pink, nudie pink kind of shades are not flattering on me at all. But this one is like a nice, has like a nice brightness to it. And I bought this because um, it was in a Kathleen Light's favorites video. <laughs> Um, but I did really end up liking it. I don't think it's a fall shade, so I'm going to put it away, but I really like this. I have a mini YSL, uh, I think this is called Le Nu, but the, it says the number is 70 on the bag, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the nude one. I really like this lipstick. It's one of my favorites, actually. I would probably buy this in the full size if I ever used it up, but let's be honest, that's probably never going to happen. Um, I'm going to put this one back. I have used it enough and I know that I like it. I have the red one too, which I really like also. This one I was considering decluttering. It's the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip, the Hello Kitty one. I got it in a boxy charm. It's the shade Lock Diary. This is just, I really like fuchsia and like bright pinks, like I just said, but this is very like more purpley and I don't think it's that flattering on me. But I wanna try it a few more times to really get the full effect. And I do really like that it's Hello Kitty. I used to love Hello Kitty. <laughs> But um, the rest of this has worn off and I've like used this once or twice before and the labeling and everything has already worn off. And I talked about that in my Sailor Moon, that, no, I talked about that in my last video because I hauled the Sailor Moon collection and I really hope that's not going to happen because the whole point of buying those like themed collections from ColourPop is like the packaging pretty much, so it better not wear off. <laughs> I have a liquid lipstick from the Beauty Crop. This was um, something I got in a boxy charm. These are called Girl Power Liquid Lipsticks. And this is the shade Date Night. This is another like deeper shade. Ooh. That is a nice fall shade. I believe I said this the last time I made this video, but I think I'm gonna keep this one still because I didn't use it. I also have a Becca Lipstick Love. That's what these were called. Ultimate Lipstick Love in the shade Sugar. And there's a cat hair on it. <laughs> this. Um, is a very light nude shade. It looks like this. Um, this one, I'm, hmm. I'm gonna keep it in because I want to make sure this is a good tone of nude for me. If not, I'm gonna pass it on because I'm trying to find nudes that actually look good on me and it seems to be kind of difficult, but that looks like it could be nice because it's more, like a neutrally pink and it's not really that pink it's just like a cool tone so I'll see if I like this one and then this is my last little lipstick glass thing I have the NARS Cruella Velvet Matte Lip Pencil I think everyone 
that's ever shopped at Sephora owns this because <laughs> I think it was a birthday gift one year. This is a deep like red shade. It looks like this. I'm going to put it away. It looks like I've used it. Maybe I've just swatched it. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'll put it away for now because I feel like I'm going to have a lot of similar shades like this for fall. So, and this is like an older one that I, I mean, it's not that exciting. So I'll put that back. This I'm going to keep in because I haven't used it in this round. I've used it before, just not in this round. It's the Smashbox uh, Be Legendary Liquid Pigment. So these are like lip gloss and liquid lipsticks like hybrids because they don't dry down but they're very like opaque and I feel like no one ever talks about these but they're so comfortable on the lips that's the shade it's really nice I'm gonna keep that one in like I said um, I have this Too Faced Raisin the Roof that's the shade um, High Shine Sparkling Lip Gloss this came out with that like pretty rich collection, I believe. The packaging is so cute and nice. Um, I've used this before. I could put it away. I already know that I like it. This is one of my favorites. It's the NARS Orgasm Lip Gloss. I really like the formula. It's very comfortable. This is more like a summer gloss to me, so I'll put that one away. This is the Too Faced Melted Matte in the shade Cinnamon Bear. You can see like the little bears. I think they're coming out with this again this holiday. At least I saw there was a palette, I think, a Cinnamon Bear palette. Um, I'm going to keep this one in because I haven't used it and it's, it fits the kind of theme. It does smell like cinnamon. Um, yeah, I'll see if this is a good, like a shade of red that I like. Sometimes I don't like these deeper reds. I prefer like brighter ones, but I'll see how I like this one. Same with this melted liquefied longwear lipstick. I don't think these are the matte ones. These are like the first ones they came out with. This is the shade Melted Nude. I want to get some more use out of this and see if I like it. If not, I'll pass it on because I feel like it's going to be one of those nudes that turns like really weird pink on my lips. So I'll have to double check this one. I'm going to keep my MAC Burnt Spice. Yeah, Burnt Spice Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color. This, I don't know if this is very drying. I feel like people say that about these a lot, but I haven't used it enough to know how I feel about it. So I'm going to keep that one in because it's a nice like neutral nude for this time of year. This one I'll put back. It's a mini makeup forever in the shade 105. It's like one of these kind of tones, like a grayish. Um, yeah. I don't, I don't feel like I need this right now in my collect, in my shop my stash box. And the last one is another bite multi stick. This is biscotti. It looks like this. This one is more like a shade I would use. Oh, it's quite nice. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that one in. Okay, so that was my old box. Now we're going to do the fun part. Ugh, oh, I made a mess here. <laughs> um, which is to spin the wheel to find what I'm going to add in my next Shop My Stash. And I did take out a lot of product, which is good. I think I'll take two of each. Okay, now let's, let's just see. Yeah, so for palettes, I think I want to bring in, I only kept three, no, no five. <laughs> I kept five. I'll bring in two. So I have my categories here. So the first one is which palette, and these are all the options <laughs> that I have. And this is just the makeup that I have at this house, which is a lot still. But, okay, how does this work? Oh, 
I spin the wheel. Fun. Petit pro. But I already have that. <laughs> okay, so that's one I already have. This one here that I'm, I already decided I'm keeping, so we'll spin again. Okay, again, the NYX Lingerie. <laughs> Tarte Rainforest of the Sea, Volume 3. Okay, well, I did say I wanted to put that one back in my collection, but this is telling me I should so <laughs> that one, we're going to bring it back. So one more, because I only added one new one right now. Oh yay, the Sailor Moon palette, which is fun to have something newer. So here it is. You can see more about this in my last video. So the next category is the bronzer. How many bronzer? I don't have that many. I have eight options. I think I can bring in two, so I'll in the wheel. Ooh, the Fenty Cream Bronzer. I have the shade Butter Biscuit. That is a good shade for this time of year because it's not like too shimmery. It's like a neutral. Oh God, I dug my nail into that. This is the shade though. Yes, I'm happy with that option and another one. Oh, okay the shady biz which i said i would put back because i've used it so much it's it it picked that one again which is fine because now i have a cream option and a powder option and i like both of those shades for this time of year so for blush i only kept this kaja one so i think i can bring in two more flower beauty so this one is the blush that I have in a palette that has a highlighter too. It's this one here. Yeah, I think that could work. So there's that one and oh yay! The ColourPop Cat's Eye that is a blush from the Sailor Moon collection. So that's fun. I haven't used it yet. This is the packaging, it's so cute. You can't really see it. Oh, there, there you go. And this is the shade. So this is the shimmery one, which is fun. It's a bit brighter than the flower one. So yeah, I'll get some variety. I kind of want to pick another one because I feel like should I? Okay, let's do one more blush because I love blush. Ooh, the Patrick Ta um, Do We Know Her, which is fun because it's actually two blushes in one. This one here. This is probably not something I would reach for in the fall. Did I just scratch that? Oh god. But it could work. We'll see. I mean, at least this powder one is not too bright. Um, and I can always like use either or, or mix them together. So yeah, that's fun. This is fun. <laughs> okay. Um, highlighter. Well, I'm keeping the Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit, so that's six highlighters already. So I think and I have a highlighter in the Flower Beauty palette, which is actually one of my favorite highlighters in my collection. So I'll just choose one more. Oh, that's fun. I got the KVD Alchemist palette. So that's five more options. It's this here that I just hauled in my last video. Ooh, that could be fun. Not something I would normally go for for fall, but this is about like trying new things, right? And you know, getting out of my comfort zone. So, and I can use these for eyeshadows too. So that's fun. Okay, the next one is concealer. 
How many can I have a lot of concealers? <laughs> it's like not normal. Oh, I got the Too Faced Born This Way, which is good because I'm still trying to decide if I really like it or not. I got it in a boxy charm. This one, the so it's the new one, the multi use sculpting concealer, which is good because I can use this as foundation too if I wanted. I don't think I need more than one concealer. Do I? <laughs> no. I need to remind myself this is the stuff for my shop my stash. I can always use this app to decide like whenever I do a new look I can use this to choose other things also. So that one is enough. Um, for the primer I did I keep that one? No, I didn't keep the Physician's Formula one. So I need to choose a primer. Oh, fun. I got the Touch and Soul Glassy Skin. Um, I just mentioned that in my last video as something I wanted to try. It's this one that comes in a jar. Um, it's the Glassy Skin Balm. Pretty filter Glassy Skin Balm. I'm excited because I really don't know much about this product and it sounds like it's gonna be something I like so good that's fun then for lip so I already kept four nine ten I still have no I still have eleven I have eleven lip products from my last one that I'm keeping so let me just add two look how many lip products I have you could barely read this wheel. Tower 28. Oh, that's a clear gloss. That's fun. It's just this little mini guy. Yay. That's good for like no makeup makeup days. And another one. Oh. The Physician's Formula Ginger Snap. That's this here. Um, these are the Organic Wear Tinted Lip Treatments with Butter Blend. This was something I had in my purse, but the shade, these are actually very pigmented. Like, I would say they're more like lipsticks than they are lip balms. And this shade was like too dark to just throw on as a lip balm, like when I'm not wearing any other makeup. So I put it back in my collection, but yeah, this is a really good fall shade too. I have two more categories, so setting spray. Oh good, I got the glow recipe, which is fine because I'm trying to use it up before it goes bad. It's the Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. You guys have seen this before on my channel because I'm trying to use it. One setting spray is fine. And the last one is eyeliner. I don't usually use eyeliner, but I want to start. Oh, I got my Starlux liquid liner, which is good because I need to see if it still works. <laughs> this is another um, product I'm trying to use up because it's very old. It might be dry, but we'll find out and if it is I'll just bring in a different one but this is just a black liquid liner fun so that's it I'm gonna put everything back in like a nice organized way and then I'll show you guys the final setup okay so here is the shop my stash I'm very happy with how this looks the last one was looking kind of crazy it was way too much product so yeah this one looks a little cleaner so I have all my palettes here um, my setting spray my Kaja thing Patrick Ta um, then in the front I just have my two bronzers both Fenty my little ColourPop single my Flower Beauty palette that I can use the highlighter and the blush from. My Glassy Skin Balm. And then in here is just like concealer and the eye things that I'm keeping. 
And then these two are the lip products. So yeah, I think I got a really good mix of things and I'm excited to play with these some more. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!